So, you want to create arrays in C Sharp? This is Daniel, and you are going to get coded. Let's get started. Here I have Visual Studio open, and I'm going to create a simple console application by saying File New Project. And from here, Visual C Sharp, Windows Classic Desktop, and then Console App, I'm going to name this Arrays, and then hit OK. While this is loading and creating, I have here a web page about Arrays. And this is similar to a blog, and I'm going to post the link in the description below, and you can click the link, and you'll go to my personal website, danielsimionescu.com and there you find uh, this post. Um, and basically, here I have an example of why you need to use arrays. And Visual Studio is done. Let's try to hit Windows key, right arrow, and let's begin. So, why you need to use arrays? You can use arrays to store same type variables. So, variables of the same type, like integers and strings and double, they have to be the same type. So, imagine you have three numbers and you want to calculate their sum. And you could declare these numbers as individual variables. Why do you still open here? Okay. I don't know why this is open all the time. As individual variables and then create another one to hold the sum. Let's leave that like this. Windows, it's crazy. Okay. Um, so, let's try to create those variables. So, we have var number one which is 3, var number 2, which is 5, and var number 3, which is 4. And then I'm going to create the sum, and I'm going to add all of these together. So not 3, but number 1, and number 2, and number 3. Just like that. And then console right line sum, you, can, you have a shortcut, C, W, and tab, and then you can pass the sum. If we run this program like it is right now, you're going to see the console flash out and then close, and you're not able to see the actual result. In order to keep that console from not closing, you need console.read key, and this will uh, make the console stay until you press a key. And also, uh, instead of clicking here on the start, you can press F5 in order to open the console. And let me try to make this smaller, and we have 12 as the result of the sum operation, which is amazing. Let's move on. So, this works well, but what happens if we have 10 numbers? What about something crazy like 75,268 numbers? Imagine how many variables you need to write. It will be something like this, so many variables you lose count of them and as you can see you need to have unique names for each variable separately so they need to be unique that's a hustle you will not do that this is way this is where arrays kick in so we can rewrite the whole program with an array we have here numbers and then we initialize this numbers array with these numbers instead and then you can see that we have the method, uh, the sum method, which is part of link. If you don't know what link is, I will create a separate video for link. But it provides you with many methods that you can use on collections. Link is very awesome. And then we just print out like we do here. So let's try to rewrite this. So we have our numbers as we have on the left side. And then we create a new array. The sign for array is... Uh, are these two square brackets, and then we have 3, 5, and 4. And then the sum, instead of these variables, we have numbers dot sum. So we can uh, calculate the sum. And then we print out the sum. Let's try F5 again and see what we get, why this is just so on top. So this is 12, which is the same. So now it works, and you don't have to worry about all the other numbers as individual variables anymore. And just to uh, show you what I mean, you can just create those here. Let me try to add some more numbers, 
and if we press again F5, you can see that we have again 506, we have 563 as the result of our sum. So this works and we don't have to create uh, separate uh, variables to hold those values. So the summary is that arrays are useful when you deal with a whole bunch of variables of the same type, they need to be the same type, which needs some sort of manipulation. In our case, we want to add them together. And if we hover over var, you can see that it is of type int, array int, so it holds integers. Let's try to actually add a string and see what happens. So you can see that right now we have an error. So no best type found for implicitly typed array, which means that it cannot infer or know the type of the array. So basically var will get just a question mark. You don't, the compiler cannot know the type. Right now we have integers. Also we can have decimals. So if you have dot something and you can see right now this array is of type double. So it holds double numbers. Even though we have only one, this is treated as a double array. And if we press again F5, we can see that this works and it prints out the sum with the decimal. So this is how you create arrays, very simple and straightforward. I hope you like this video. If you like this video and it helped you, please click the thumbs up. Also, I'm, my goal right now is to get 1000 subscribers. And when I do that, on Friday, I will post a Q&A instead of a regular video. And all the questions I'll get from the comments below. So please, if you have questions or you want to know something about coding, about me, about what I do, or about my future plans with this channel, please post them in the comments and I will curate them, I will get them, I will make a list out of them and then I will create a Q&A for those. Until next time, stay curious. Bye.